in chapter one, we're going to review Netflix and we're going to talk about scale economics, right? Like how size actually matters, right? The bigger you are, the better it is economically for you. So let's look at Netflix as an example, right? So Netflix, the business hypothesis uh, uh, was that Blockbuster, right? Uh, which was the incumbent at that point and uh, Netflix was a challenger, right? Blockbuster was huge, right? So the hypothesis was that uh, Blockbuster cannot uh, go away with their late fees. So Netflix never had late fees, right? And they had huge amount of revenue coming in. And so the business hypothesis for investing in Netflix was um, Blockbuster would drag their feet facing up to the painful existential imperatives that would confronted them and Netflix would continue to cannibalize their customers, right? So they'll continue to drag their feet until, uh, you know, and Netflix will continue to cannibalize their customers. That was the business hypothesis that Netflix will not, you know, pivot uh, from their key um, business uh, decisions, which is around uh, late fees, right? And also around the revenue model that they had with uh, DVD rentals. And let's look at the chart, right? Like what happened? So Netflix, right, uh, 2004 had around less than half a billion dollar, right, revenue, and Blockbuster is huge, six six billion dollars, right, and Netflix bet it bet it on uh, DVD rental, right, uh, same as Blockbuster started there, right, together, uh, but they had an online version. The big bet that they made around 2005, six, seven was around online streaming. Blockbuster followed too. So that was their big strategic bet but they didn't stop there. They continued. Netflix continued and then they got exclusive streaming rights. When they got exclusive streaming rights, they could continue to cannibalize the customers and subscribers from Blockbuster. And at some point in 2010, that's when the pivot uh, to 2011 is when they had streaming rights. But 2012 is when they made a big decision on originals with House of Cards, right? Uh, so those three big decisions that Netflix did made Blockbuster, you know, almost close down in 2013, right? Uh, so look at the revenue declining, subscribers declining, right, for both of these companies. This is huge. So we, we are starting with this business hypothesis, remember? Blockbuster would drag their feet, facing up to their painful existential imperatives, right? So they are, they are not pivoting as fast as possible. They, they are losing customers and they, it's just hard to make a rational decision to pivot, especially when you're making so much money. So that was the business hypothesis, and we're talking about scale economics, right? And uh, with scale economics, uh, when you pivot to originals, now you have fixed cost. Now, fixed high unit cost is very hard to get into. Like for someone to create original content, it's very expensive. But as you get more subscribers and if you have fixed cost, then your average cost per content goes down in a significant way. So that was a huge, huge strategic set of decisions that the leadership team they uh, did at Netflix that gave them the competitive advantage. So scale economics uh, uh, are with various companies, not just Netflix. You're taking Netflix as an example, but UPS, uh, which has distribution economics of scale, Coursera, or online learning has online learning economics of scale, and Walmart with high, um, huge purchasing power at uh, high volume. It's a huge volume opportunities that each of them have, right? So basically a scale economic uh, company uh, or a power of scale economy is a business in which per unit cost declines as production volume increases, right? So think about it. As Netflix customers rise, the, even if they have a high cost for an original, it's actually going to go down because it takes less and less because there's only one time fixed cost. And also scaling up to online streaming is, is very cheap compared to scaling up in any other industry possible, right? especially with the bet on internet and Netflix. That's why they have the name Netflix, internet, right? They bet it on internet, uh, not warehouse flicks or something like that that's mentioned in this book that I found very funny. So Netflix uh, bet on the internet, bet on online streaming on the internet, right? Originals, these three big decisions that enable them to scale up, eventually making it very hard for big competitors, even like Disney at this point, right? So there are two aspects as we talked about in the introduction benefits and barrier right so the benefit is they have reduced cost even though very expensive originals but it, it is one time fixed cost uh, and uh, that's why their their volume of cash flows continues to go up because as the subscribers go up the cost actually is reduced per per subscriber right 
and the barrier is pretty prohibitive if some new company wants to come in and create original content it just takes them a lot of money which just makes it very much impossible for them to go through this barrier and create this big competitive mode that Netflix has created already with originals and streaming. So we talked about some of these examples. I'll quickly list them here. Uh, Netflix with fixed cost of creating movies, cheap, unlimited scaling, same for Coursera, fixed course creation cost. Once you create it once, you can scale it up to millions, if not billions of people and show them the course and then get them, get them trained and very, the cost keeps going down. UPS, distribution density, like if you have to, uh, if you're going to the route, if you have to deliver 20 packages versus 10 packages, it's actually cheaper to deliver 20 packages because now you are in the same route, you can deliver more. So per unit cost actually goes down. Same for Walmart, they they buy in volume and they, have, they can then command very low margins from their sellers and then they can have um, huge price advantage. These are all examples of scale economies, right? But think about this, if Netflix had accepted that existing industry economic structure that they were in, remember that it was unalterable, that they will only stay in the DVD rental business, then there would be no route to power. But they pivoted over and over again. Every single time, big right decisions were done by the leadership team on internet bet, streaming with the internet, originals, exclusive rights, and then originals, right? That gives them this huge competitive moat which is very difficult to break through. So if they had accepted that as an unimitable, uh, unalterable given, then they would not have had the um, route to power, which is basically the strategy, right? So they would have remained at the mercy of DVD rental business, which is already declining as more and more companies go into online and streaming. So that was a key learning for me, right? So they bet on streaming, exclusive originals, and that is what was the route to their power uh, and also they bet it in the right manner. If you see, they attacked the right companies, uh, countries first, which were significant markets where the significant revenues were there and then they expanded into various companies, uh, various countries, right? So significant markets, um, a strategy uh, needs to be converted to power with the right set of steps as to how we are gonna attack various countries so that those significant markets could be achieved, right? Um, and all of this didn't come for free. They had huge dedication. The stock prices was all over, correcting more than 50, 60, 70% multiple times during the company's existence. So if, have, uh, if, you, if the company folks and founders didn't stay focused and they didn't have the pursuit of excellence with the right decision at every turn and huge dedication to the vision that they had, they would not be around at this point. So that is a huge learning from Netflix on scale economics. Right? We learned through, with the help of Netflix, various other companies um, and we learned that there's a huge importance that leaders have in making the right decisions when you scale up your companies and then you stay successful. So scale economics, size matters, that was a key learning from Netflix, UPS, Coursera, and Walmart for us in this chapter one. I'll see you all in the next chapter. Thanks.